Hi, and welcome to another Average Joe Hockey Report. In this video, we talk about the Boston Bruins and the Colorado Avalanche, and what their situation looks like in the offseason, and what they need to address. If you're the Boston Bruins, I'd like to think that you're going to have some cap space, but goaltending is something you might have to address. I think they will have to address it, as a matter of fact. Both Tuka Rask and Yaroslav Halak are um, uh, UFAs. And I think you walk by, I think you can move past to uh, Yaroslav Halak because I feel like Jeremy Swayman and Daniel Vladar played pretty good for for the Bruins when they got called up. But I don't necessarily think that they're quite ready to take the next step. So maybe keep Tuka Rask in the fold and see if maybe he'll resign for cheap. Tuka Rask did state that Boston's the only team in the NHL that he wants to play for. So, so yeah, and I'm sure Boston will make another run for the Cup, so it would make sense to keep uh, Tuka Rask in the fold, but I don't think he's going to cost $7 million, so I think he'll be able to save a bit of money there. And for the forwards, I think you walk past David Krejci. I think... His uh, history of injuries, and then he's 35. I think it's definitely time. Yeah. Um, so, with that uh, being said, with that being said, that's at least, you know, maybe 14, sorry, it's $16 million in cap space there. I mean, I know Taylor Hall is a UFA, but you could maybe re-sign him. Taylor Hall does want to re-sign in Boston. I'll say that. And then, um, uh, so, yeah, you could definitely re-sign Taylor Hall with that cap space. And then you can, you can definitely find out how much more money Brandon Carlo is going to make. And then... Mike Riley is an intri and an, is definitely an intriguing um, uh, UFA. He uh, he just came off of a season high twenty seven points in uh, fifty five games. So so there's that. So I'm sure Boston maybe could resign him, and then just see if maybe with all that cap space if you could maybe make an addition because. Uh, because with uh, if you if you move past Krejci, you'll definitely need a second line center. That's that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the Colorado Avalanche. And the Colorado Avalanche, I think their main priority is to re-sign Kiel Makar. Kiel Makar is an RFA, and he's gonna get paid. Trust me, he's gonna get paid. So. I think it means, you know, Matt Calvert's gone. I think it means Devin Dubnik's gone. It's not going to matter anyways if, uh, you know, Pavel Francouz can be off long-term injury reserve. But if he's not, then you can maybe see what you can do for a goaltending situation. I know Philip Grubauer is a UFA, but I'd like to think that they should resign. I think they should resign him for sure. And for forwards, you know, do you maybe move past Brandon Saad because, because you know that um, Kill Makar is going to get paid? And then Gabriel Landeskog's the UFA, but I wouldn't necessarily mind if the Avalanche brought him back. Another intriguing RFA that they have is Tyson Yost. I don't know where Tyson Yost fits anymore. I know he was supposed to be the up and coming second line center for the Avalanche. But uh, but continuing his statistics continue on a downward trend, and now that Alex Newhook is in the system, I don't know if the Avalanche have room for him or whatnot. I don't know what they'll do. We'll see. But uh, yeah, when it comes to the Avalanche, the main priority is definitely re-sign Kale McCarr. This video is based on opinion. It may have no implications on what the the um uh, what the two teams are gonna do 
come off season or or near the season or training camp or whatever. So remember, if I'm wrong, don't belittle me. Educate me. Take care, everyone, and follow my Instagram account, Average Show Hockey Report, my YouTube channel, Marty Tommy.